All right, now we know who the crew is turning to in a potential zombie apocalypse. And one of the popular <laughs> guesses was the man joining us once again on IT, Brent Suter. Be welcome back. Uh, I guess it's a two-part question. Why Jace Peterson as number one, <laughs> and then you're number two, and then who would you who would you choose to kind of ride it out with in a zombie apocalypse? So I definitely, Jace is like the survivalist of the group, hunts, fishes, knows how to survive, like use the natural elements. I don't know why people pick me. I don't, I'm not really a hunter or fisher, honestly. So that was a, a bit of a question mark. I'll take the compliment, I guess, but I'm, I'm not the pick. Uh, my pick was Hunter Renfro. He's uh, killed a couple deer with his bare hands. The dude is like super survivalist too. So it's it was either Jace or Hunter Renfro. So I want to take you to the dugout incident that we thought, oh my goodness gracious, walk us through what happened. Because we were just like, well, hoping you're not hurt. And by the way, you looked amazingly jacked right there. The left bicep's looking nice. You're doing great in the curls. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Nice. Uh, so I saw the ball go up. I noticed that we were shifted over. So I said, I'll try to make a play for it. Hadn't gotten out yet in that outing. So really wanted to get an out. And, uh, Misjudged the rail there. I thought I had another step, so I thought I would slide into the net, but it came it came quick, it came really quick. So I ended up getting my forearm ahead of the, uh, the rail and kind of, yeah, I left a big dent in the net there. <laughs> um, but it's funny, Wainwright texted me and said, dude, great effort, glad you're okay. Also, you look jacked, I need to get on your workout program. I was like, <laughs> like thanks, I've just been doing the same stuff, but appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Wait, now you the want program. the Twitter to thank the fans? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. You went and said thank right. you to the fans on Twitter, and uh, I know that you have a teammate that did an awesome thing, Corbin Burns, and went off and bought the entire bar tab. So if you thought about Whoa, maybe Osa. stealing Christian Yelich's credit card to do the same <laughs> thing, because that was as cool as it gets for Corbin Burns. Yeah, that was a great move. Um, I definitely want to hop on board and do that at some point. So uh, yeah, I think I'm. I don't know if I need to borrow Yelly's credit card. I think I, <laughs> arbitration years, I'm, I think I might be okay just doing it my own. <laughs> but uh, I, I will hey. let him know. I'll let him know. <laughs> you know what? You know what you would need Yelly's card for, Brent, is when you know you have an honorary Harvard scholarship through you know through your family. That's what you put on on Yelly's. Right. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Write that info down. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, Josh Hader, career save 100. Yep. What's one thing that nobody knows about Josh at this point? Because he's been uh, kind of in the spotlight for a handful of seasons now. Right. Um, I just don't think people know how genuinely nice, like just just a kind dude he is. Just treats everyone right. Um, I mean, you hear you hear stories about it, like you know him doing going out of his way to help people. But every day this dude shows up and he's ready to work, ready to get better, and he's ready to be a great teammate. Um, just an incredible guy inside and out. Big Hunter man, I think mean, he's. I think he's been on the Outdoor Channel a couple of times, so he's big into doing like the arrow practice in the clubhouse and stuff like that. Um, so he's he's also up there on the Zombie Apocalypse, by the way. He's uh, he's up there probably top five. Uh, you know, choice for that. <laughs> but uh, just just a genuinely great dude. So happy for him. Hundred saves is incredible. Uh, so just all the power to him. He's awesome. No doubt about it. Now this Friday, you guys will be playing the Philadelphia Phillies. It's going to be Earth Day, and you're a big Earth supporter. What do you have in store? Uh, we're doing so. I'm doing like a community reading type thing uh, the day before we leave for Philly on uh, Thursday uh, here at the local. I'm actually producing or publishing a children's book this year. This uh, June is coming out. The Binky Bandit has like an environmental message. So we're going to be uh, reading that in the school and we're doing some video uh, education stuff on Earth Day because we're not going to be able to be here. Obviously, we're going to be in Philly, but going to be doing some uh, stuff with the, the Binky Bandit, the uh, children's book I got coming out, and then uh, doing some educational stuff. Awesome. Hey. Nice. Now, Brent was a tree. What tree would you be? Ooh. I'd be an oak, I think. I want. I would want to be an oak. We don't have enough of them. We need more oaks compared to maples here in the uh, Midwest. Yeah, so right. definitely want to be an oak. <laughs> hey, Brent, I, all, as always, every day, got the reusable thermos just for you. Uh, before before Kevin hits you with rapid fire questions, I, I guess mine would be everyone knows that you have the the Jim, Gar Jim Carrey impersonation in your back pocket. Have you been working on a new one? Yeah, that you've been maybe um, workshopping that you might be ready so, to try out right now? So the uh, Willie and Adamas and I always do a handshake, the Austin Powers before the game, and it's like that one where she's like, you want Harry like animal, and he's like, <laughs> give baby, very good. You know, all that stuff. My son <laughs> loves that one. 
and I've been doing a little, a little Matt Foley where he's like, so my good. name is Matt Foley, and I am a motivational speaker. Now you kids are probably asking yourself, hey, Matt, how do I pull the world down and put it in my pocket? You know, that stuff, so. Oh, hey, we need, on a couple, but. we need Brent and Steven Vogt, a Matt Foley duel. Yeah. That's what we'll work oh. on next. That would go to Steven. That would go to Steven. That. He's unreal on that. <laughs> good stuff. Oh, All right, Kevin. Oh, so good. Uh, all right, brother. We got a few rapid fire questions, and then we'll let you get back to the biceps with yeah. uh, Rudy, Craig Council. You ready? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm ready. I'm ready. Your, your teammate, your teammate, Hobby Miller, uh, set a record for getting his first decision in his 96th game. Is he this indecisive off the field? <laughs> No, he's actually uh, awesome, like really knows what he's doing. Uh, very super direct and super honest, uh, super great guy. So he is, uh, I don't know, that record is one of the coolest, I think, in, in baseball, 96 games. So uh, just kind of one of those random things. But uh, credit to him for just keeping on, like not having losses yes. is really one of the most impressive things. Like 96 games without a loss. Like I, I got to lost my first game, you know? <laughs> so. <laughs> so good. All right, now stay with this question. It's one of my favorite questions now. Our, our intern behind the scenes, Jay Mack, came up with this. That's right, Jay Mack. Here we go. Would you rather be cousins with Jake Cousins or get rowdy with Rowdy Telez? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, yeah. The safer, safer call here is cousins with cousins for sure. Uh, that'd be cool. We'd also be in the fan with Kirk Cousins, so we'd all uh, be hanging out and playing sports and stuff, so that'd be cool. <laughs> Good point, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, really cool. All right, Bucks were in the postseason. They won uh, against the yep. Bulls last night. So I want to know yep. what would Jim Carrey's locker room speech be? <laughs> you know, guys, we got the first one, but we need number two, three, and four. Take care now. Bye, bye, then. <laughs> yeah, <something like> that. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck the landing. Uh, so good. <laughs> Uh, you, you've appeared on several MLB Network shows, and I want to know why this show is the best. Uh, it's the best time. I think it's the best content. You guys explore like all elements of the the player side. I love it. Um, it you know, you guys are great, like fun, and you guys are awesome. It's the best. Well, I'll Venmo Thank you in you a so second, much. Brent. Thank, Thank you. So you. Much. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah. Thank you for Venmo. All right, so we got IT Mojo. You're obviously a pitcher, and it does work. We're going to shift it now. We're going to shift it. You get to go ahead and shift that IT mojo to a position player for the Brewers. Who's going deep tonight? I got Willie. I got Willie Adamas going deep tonight. Yes. No pressure. Yes. No pressure. None. <laughs> Hey, uh, Brent Suter, we, we always wish we had more time with you because it just it flies by. But thank you again for uh, rolling through here. Also, all the work that you do each and every week on Earth Week. And congrats again on the book that's coming out. If folks didn't know, June 6th this year, mm -hmm. the Binky Bandit, Brent Suter's book. So Orange Hat Publishing. So uh, congrats to you and everybody who worked on it. Right? That's a big deal. Thank you. really appreciate that, guys. Thanks awesome. for having me. Always a blast. Always a blast. Brent Suter.